Friends, we begin our brief worship on Epiphany uh, with a proverb. Peace be to this house and to all who enter here. By wisdom a house is built, and through understanding it is established. Through knowledge its rooms are filled with rare and beautiful treasures. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, you revealed the incarnation of your Son by the brilliant shining of a star. Shine the light of your justice always in our hearts and over all lands and accept our lives as the treasure we offer in your praise and for your service. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Uh, dear friends, it's a blessing to worship here together on this Feast of Epiphany. Uh, something that really was foreign to me, we didn't really do this at all when I was growing up, but over the past couple of years have come to appreciate. Uh, and um, I, I, this um, year as we spend time in our homes so much, um, traditionally today is the day where you would do a home blessing. And so I thought this would be a nice chance to spend some time as a family uh, in your home and offer a blessing uh, for your homes. And so we're, we'll do that here today. Um, we have a story that, we, that Epiphany is centered around, and it may be a familiar part of the Christmas narrative perhaps for you. Um, and we're going to get to that in just a minute. But first, let's go ahead and we'll, we'll sing the first Noel. So uh, we'll sing this together if you'd like. There you have the words in your home resource uh, and if this is a newer song to you, join in on the chorus. Addie will help here on the refrain. The first Noel the angel did say Was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay In fields where they lay keeping their sheep On a cold winter's night that was so deep Noel, 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 born is the King of Israel. They looked up and saw a star shining in the east beyond them far and to the earth it gave great light and so it continued both day and night noel 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 born is the king of israel and by the light of that same star three wise men came from country far to seek for a king was their intent and to follow the star where'er it went no well no rest. Then there it did both stop and stay right over the place where Jesus lay. Noel, 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 born is the King of Israel. Then entered in those wise men three, full reverently upon their knee, and offered there in his presence their gold and myrrh and frankincense. Noel, 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 born is the King of Israel. As one of my
my favorite uh, Christmas carols, dear friends, uh, and, and, and uh, it tells the story that we hear on this day, this feast day of Epiphany. And so Addison's going to read for us this story from the Gospel of Matthew today. I'll invite you, if you want, to read along to find uh, your, your home Bible and go ahead and read along uh, or read at the same the time. The wise men gave their best. Look at that star, a wise man said. I see it, said another. We must follow that star. We will take, it will take us to a new king. The wise men knew that this king was a special king. It was only a little baby now, but God had sent him. The wise men went to on camels. They look, they took their best gifts to the, to the new king to the baby king. On and on they went for many days following the star. One day they, the star stopped. It stopped over the town of Bethlehem. This is the place, the wise men said. The new, the baby king is here. The wise men went, the wise men went to see Jesus. They gave him their best gifts. They were happy that the star led them to Jesus. Something to ask, what led the wise men to Jesus? What did they, they give him? Do you give Jesus your best gifts? Feel free to pause and, and ask one another these questions as you spend some time reflecting here on God's word. Um, we're going to then uh, bless our homes. And so this is where also you can, you can pause and uh, get, if you don't have with you there, get a, like a, a little piece of paper or a sticky note uh, and a pen. Uh, and this is what we're going to do. Uh, the, the tradition here uh, on if the day of Epiphany is to, here you go, Eddie, is to, to take chalk and to inscribe over the uh, over the uh, uh, the door frame uh, of of the entrance there, and so feel free to just use chalk on your door frame if you'd like. Uh, but if you want to just also put it on a piece of paper and then tape it up there, uh, we did that a couple years ago when my when my friend Pastor Heidke had visited. She did this uh, little blessing for us, and, and it's still up there. You'll see it here in just a minute. But if you want to create your own for this year, what you want to do is on the very top in the the the, the top corner. Write uh, the, the, the numbers 2 and 0, standing for uh, 2021. So 2 and 0, and then a little cross. And then leave the middle blank for right now. And then on the bottom right, uh, write, 20, uh, the, write the numbers 2, 1, and another cross for 21. So 2021. And in the middle, you this is where you have a choice. You can write CMB, the letters CMB. And, and they stand uh, for uh, Christi Mencium Benedict, or, or in Latin, it means Christ bless this home. Or also it could stand for Caspar, Melchior, and Balthazar, the legendary names of the Magi. Or, as Pastor Heike taught us, you can inscribe the initials of the, the, the members in this house, so the family members. So like for us, Addie, you can write uh, A for Adam. You can write A for Addie. You can write L for Laura. You can write B for Benny. And S for sugar. And S for sugar, okay, sure. Uh, and then that, that is the initials of our household because as Pastor Heike uh, taught me, you know, again, if, if, if Christ is God's word in flesh and Christ lives through us, um, God blesses these houses through those that live there as well. And so thanks be to God for, for Christ living in and through us, and especially during this time of pandemic when we've been spending and worshiping so much together here from our homes. Uh, God continues to hold us together and connect us in the blessing of God's love. And so I'll get, invite you to go ahead and do that, and then we can, we'll take it to the, um, the mantle of the entrance of your house, uh, and I'll show you there where we can tape that up and then we'll offer a blessing here. So, Adi, go ahead, lead, lead the way. Do you want to take it off there, Addison? Take the sticky off? We'll put the new one up here. Got it? 
<laughs> there you see the one from a couple of years ago. And we'll get that taped. Oops, we'll have to wait and get that taped up then in a little bit. Uh, but the two crosses then stand for Christ, bless this home, and remain with us throughout this year. Uh, and so you do this each year, this 2021. Uh, I offer this blessing for us uh, and invite you to join us in your homes. O oh God, you revealed your Son to all people by the shining light of a star. Bless this home and all who worship and serve here with your gracious presence. May your love be our inscription, your wisdom our guide, your light our truth, and your peace, our benediction, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear friends, let us continue on this journey in peace, knowing that Christ is with us as we share our best gifts, the gifts of Christ, with one another for the sake of the world. God bless you, my friends.